right, Miss Amber, what do you have for us today? Today we're gonna make ice cream cone. But see, it's also based on our lesson. It's even though we have the saying of seeing is believing, it is not always the case. I mean, have you ever seen any trick mirrors at the fair or something like that? You know, you know that you're just a regular individual standing up and then you go in front of those trick mirrors and all of a sudden you're stretched out and you're really tall and weird. Then you go to the next one and you're all short and clunky, right? But you know that's not real. Even though you're seeing your things right in front of your eyes, you know that's not your real reflection and your body's not doing that, right? Just yes. like wind. We can hear it. We can feel it on our skin. We can see it moving through the trees. But if I gave you a jar and said, go catch me some wind, so I can see mm -hmm. to believe it, I'm not, you're gonna come back and you're just gonna give me a jar and I'm gonna be like, what is this? And you'll be like, it's wind. And you may have, you know, put it in the wind and put the lid on and may have really captured wind, but you can't see it. It's just like, it's, it's air, <laughs> moving air. We can't see it. So I wouldn't be able to believe you because I couldn't see it, but we know that the wind is there. Just like we know that our body didn't change in front of those, you know, trick mirrors. <clears throat> Or a magic trick, you know, great ma magicians, they do tricks in front of people all the time, but it's an illusion, you know, it's not real, even though they're really good at it and they can trick you and you're like, oh my gosh, what did I just see, you know. <laughs> We're going to do with our ice cream cone, is I'm sure everybody's familiar with our ice cream cones. We got our wonderful cone and then we take our delicious frozen ice cream and we put it in and we go num, 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 right? But my question is, you know, those pictures that we see on the ice cream containers to help us decide what ice cream flavor we want and what looks good by the picture, right? How do they make the ice creams look that good? I mean, ice cream, if you keep it out long enough, it's going to start getting slippery and wet. It's going to turn into a puddle, right? It's not going to stay ice cream on. Well, they do it so you can see the potential of what your ice cream can look like when you buy this ice cream, but the ice cream they take a picture of is not real, even though you see it. So I'm gonna show you how to make real fake ice cream cone. <laughs> All right, so it says to wash your hands before you do this. So on Mrs. Jenny's uh, paper, it'll say, you know, hand soap or sanitizer and some wet wipes and whatnot but really that's just for you to go and wash your hands because we're going to be playing with food and stuff and then it also says get some bowls so you can measure it out for the kids but really I don't have that I just have my my regular measuring cups that I'm going to do and my bowl here and I got a spoon and so you're going to need some corn syrup Got some corn syrup. It doesn't matter if it's light or dark. I just did it that way in case if I use it for future recipes, I have something a little more calorie fr friendly. And then it, you got your shortening, veg, you know, and then you're going to have some powdered sugar. And we're going to take a bowl, a mixing bowl, and we're going to take first our shortening, okay? And we're going to put it in our bowl. You're going to need one fourth of a cup of shortening. And then you're going to need two tablespoons of your corn syrup. <gasps> oh, that's a big heaping one. So I'm going to do a little bit less on my second one. <laughs> this stuff is thick and sticky. And that's why you need the wet wipes that are on the list too, because we're gonna be kneading our dough here, our fake ice cream. Try and do this with real ice cream. It's gonna make your hands cold and slippery and wet and sticky in no time. And it's just gonna turn into a puddle. You ain't gonna have ice cream anymore. So we take our shortening and our vegetable or corn syrup, sorry. So our shortening and our corn syrup and we mix it up real good. One fourth of a cup of shortening, two tablespoons of corn syrup. Mix it up really good. Make it smooth, can you see that? Woo. 
And then we're going to take one cup of powdered sugar. And you're going to add it in just a little at a time. Don't dump all of it in at once. And then mix it up. What's your favorite kind of ice cream, Mrs. Jimmy? I like uh, uh, mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip. Oh, that's good. I got that from one of my, my clients the other day. This is Jessica, how about you? The salted caramel. Mm. That's good, too. Yeah. Miss Amber, what's yours? I'm not picky. I like a lot of them. <laughs> but I really like to have all the time just because it simply hits basics for me would be Rocky Road. I love my chocolate. I love my almonds or walnuts. Sometimes they put walnuts instead of almonds. And then you got to have those nice fluffy marshmallows in there. So I really like that. How do you like to eat your ice cream? Do you like to eat it out of the container like me? <laughs> or, in a, or in a bowl or a cup on a stick? How do you like your ice cream? I'm not picky. I'll eat it out of the, the container. That's why I like, like Ben and Jerry's or Hagen dazs because then I can eat out of the container and I can feel really super cool eating out of the container. <laughs> yep. But it's smaller, so I don't eat too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of has it portioned out for me already. Mrs. Jessica, what's your favorite way? Um, I like to to eat it out of a bowl or a waffle cone. Those are good. Waffle cone. I got a sugar yeah. cone. My sugar cone is red. There was green and red and chocolate. And I figured since I'm going to make me some fake chocolate ice cream, even though it's vanilla right now. Ooh. I do like chocolate ice cream. Yeah. Just plain chocolate ice cream. Yeah, you got to get chocolate. See, but that's what the pictures are for, to help you, you know? The pictures on your ice creams to kind of help you tell you what's in it, what it's going to possibly look like, and things like that. But to really know if you actually like it, you have to taste it, right? Mm -hmm. Not really the picture, huh? So it's not really seeing is believing in this aspect. It's tasting is believing. Yeah. But they want you to buy their ice cream based off of their beautiful pictures. So now that I have my corn syrup, my shortening, and my powdered sugar mixed together for the most part, I'm going to take my dough that I have and I am going to mix it up in my hands until it's not too sticky anymore. And work some of the sticky out, but I'm kind of, this is, this is vanilla. I like vanilla, don't get me wrong, because it goes with so many things. You can put it with other desserts. Like it goes good if you got a special type of cake and you don't, you know, Rocky Road ice cream just isn't really going to taste very good with it. You get vanilla, right? But I think we should go, instead of having plain vanilla, I think we should go with some plain chocolate, like Mrs. Jenny said. And I got myself some hot chocolate powder to go in my ice cream so I can have chocolate ice cream instead of vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. Mix two. This is gonna be so fun. This is gonna be like the orange soda trick that I'm that I did with you guys. Oh you yeah. Did. If you do this good enough, guys, you can try and go in hand and make this around, you know, make this away from the person that you're going to give it to, but go and make this and set it up in the ice cream cone and take it to them and be like, oh my goodness, I just got some delicious ice cream. Would you like <laughs> I'm making cones for everybody. Or you can put it in a bowl. You don't have to put it in the cone. Either way, it's going to look like ice cream. And they'll be like, oh, and they're going to be sad. So you better have some real ice cream to give them once they realize it's fake. <laughs> but you can tell them about how even though you don't see Jesus, he's still there. 
He's still alive. You seen my ice cream. You thought it was real. I tricked you. I was good enough to trick you. But it's not real. So you don't have to see Jesus. We have the Holy Spirit. That's how we know that Jesus is real. The Holy Spirit lives in us when we believe in Jesus and we love God. Holy Spirit lives in us. And he tells us what Jesus wants from us and how we can be pleasing to God. And we know that we have something real, just like the wind. Even though we can't see that, the Holy Spirit is there talking to us. But when somebody says seeing is believing, you say, no, that's not true. I know the Holy Spirit's real. And I can't see him. But someday I'll see him in Jesus with God, right? We all will. Well, the ones that love him. <laughs> so we got our ice cream going here. How's this looking so far? Looks pretty good. Oh, that looks like, like, yeah, like chocolate ice cream. Yeah, yeah. kind of like chocolate ice cream, huh? Looks like a real good chocolate ice cream. Keep working it a little bit more. You work it a little more, it gets a little more crumbly, the less tacky and sticky feeling it is. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if I would have been able to fool Doubting Thomas with this. Mm. Mm -hmm. He likes to doubt things. Mm -hmm. and, and though he sees it, like he had to see Jesus. I don't know. Maybe I could have got him to go, yeah. and be like, what is this? <laughs> and that's why jesus said it's very important because he's speaking of us because we have the holy spirit and just like the wind we can't really see it but god is there and he that's why when he told doubting thomas that you believe in me because you've seen me and you felt my wounds but blessed are the ones that that believes in me without seeing me which means what? Which means the Holy Spirit, right? We can't see him, but we believe in him. And that pleases God. In All right. So we got our ice cream cone. We have our ice cream. Now let's try and make it into a beautiful picture so we can fool people and then let them know about the Holy Spirit. So let's go and round it out because we kind of got to think about an ice cream scoop here, right? We're going to try and make it like a little ice cream scoop, like we just scooped it out of the container. And even so, maybe we should have got an ice cream scoop. You can add that to your list of supplies. Mm -hmm. Get your ice cream scoop out and try and scoop it like you would out of an ice cream container. Right? What do you think of my ice cream so far? Looks pretty good. That looks like ice cream. Yeah, right? I need that ice cream. You need that ice cream? I need Nobody? that ice cream. My ice cream needs some sprinkles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stick them on there real good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Mm, and then just walk around like that. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yep. Ow! I wanted a bite of that ice cream, but what is this? What are you giving me? <laughs> You're like, I gave you a trick. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you seeing something. isn't always believing yeah seeing isn't always believing I just gave you a trick and you saw it coming literally but you didn't see it coming <gasps> right and then you can tell them about the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. we don't have a picture of the Holy Spirit we can't show it up and be like this is my grandma this is me this is my dad and this is Jesus we don't have those but when we walk with Jesus and we read the Bible and we learn about God, the Holy Spirit talks to our heart and he becomes and is as real as you and I with each other. Only he talks to our heart instead of talking to us the way we speak to each other, human to human. But that doesn't make him less fake or less real. It doesn't make him fake. So I hope you guys have a wonderful time making your ice creams. Now you can go and find different things. Maybe you can get like some strawberry milk powder and you can make a strawberry ice cream or keep it vanilla. You know, who knows? Add some chocolate chips to it. Get creative. And it's different. It kind of feels like Play-Doh a little bit, but it's a little softer. 
And, you know, it's not too hard to make. And I think it'd be a lot of fun for you guys. So try it out. And remember, God loves you. And so do we. And we'll see you next time. Mrs. Jessica.